Welcome. In this video, we are going to look at problem 54. It is from chapter 22 of College Physics by OpenStax. Okay, in this problem, we have an appliance cord. It has a hot wire and a neutral wire. They are separated by three millimeters and each carries a five amp current. We need to find the average force per meter between the wires and the cord. We need to find the maximum force per meter between the wires. We need to tell if the forces are attractive or repulsive. And we need to figure out if the cord needs any special design features. Okay, let's write down what we know. Okay, we know the distance R between the wires is three millimeters. That we will need to convert. We know each current is five amps. Okay, and we need to find the force per length in part A. And then we need to find the maximum force per length in part B. Okay, so let's start with part A. So we can use the force between two wires is mu zero I one I two times L divided by two pi R. Okay, and we want force per length, so divide both sides by L. F over L force per length is mu zero I one I2 over 2 pi r. Okay, substituting the numbers, mu 0 is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meters per amp. Each current is 5 amps, so we can square that. We've got 2 pi, okay, and the distance is 3 millimeters so that's going to be 3 times 10 to the minus 3 meters. Okay, this gives a force per length of 1.67 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons per meter. Okay, part B, the maximum force. Okay, so what's going on is one wire is making a magnetic field at the other wire, and the current and magnetic field are making a force on that wire. Okay, so we have, say, current one here. Let's draw current two here. The whole distance between is R. So if we go halfway, then we've got a one half R here and here because each is half the distance to the half. Okay. And so wire one, we use the right hand rule, put our thumb in the direction of I1 our fingers point into the page. So I1 makes a field B1 into the page. We put a put our thumb in the direction of I2 and our fingers curl into the page. And so B2 is also into the page. Okay, so to find the force on I1, we point up the page put our middle finger into the page, and our thumb naturally points out. Do the same thing for I2, finger down the page, middle finger into the page, and our thumb points naturally out. Okay, so it's in the middle that's gonna give the maximum force. If we use any other location, then we'll need to average the two forces together because they won't be the same. Okay, and so we can use the force per length is the mu zero I1 
pi 2 over 2 pi, and now it's r over 2. So the force per length, we can think of multiplying by 2 out of 2 to cancel the 2 in the denominator, and we will get 2 times mu 0 i1 i2 over 2 pi r. That's what we just calculated. So now the force per length is 2 times the 1.67 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons per meter. And this is our maximum. So we can say the force per length is going to be 3.33 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons per meter. And so we'll just make a note, this is the maximum. Maximum force we can get. Okay. So let's get another page in case we need it. Part C, we needed to tell if the forces are attractive or repulsive. And we found they are repulsive. And so the forces... are repulsive, and that is because the currents are anti-parallel or in opposite directions. So forces are repulsive because currents are opposite. Opposite is the same as anti parallel. Okay, now the forces are quite small, and so for part D we need to know if there's any special considerations needed. And we can say that since, let's see, the forces are small, and then there will be insulation around the wire, right? You don't have cords with just bare wires hanging out. And so that insulation around the wire is going to keep the wires in place. So the forces are small, and the insulation around the wire will keep the wires in place. So no special considerations needed. So we can say we'll keep the wires in place. So no special consideration needed. Okay, that's going to do it for that problem. I hope you found that helpful and informative. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.